You got me? Mm-hmm. Nice. Should work pretty good. All right, let's take a look, closer look. And we are looking very nice. Look at that machine. That is really cool. This is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna get some cups. We're gonna try to loosen those. That bank of screws or bolts. See, we can't empty out these float bowls with the gunky gas that we're draining over there. If the IV bottle system, you know, Coke fluid, the Coke flow. Yes, we had it in a white bucket. I bet you that would be very green. All right, we got a plan. We're gonna get, try to drain the carburetors, the float bowls, charge the battery, get the IV bottle, see if this thing will start. Don't ever put gas in a styrofoam cup. There's the remnants of my styrofoam big buddy cup. Didn't survive. Look at the, how oh, it doesn't look that green on this camera. That, I cannot believe how green that is. Here, let's pour this into the white. Wow. I think we're just gonna charge her up. The old fashioned way. We'll let her sit overnight. and see if we get some magic. Hey guys, yeah, trying something new today. Been working on the GS1100 GK and the carburetors were absolutely gummed up. So we got this guy last year for Christmas. It stayed in the box, but we're gonna use it now that the garage is done and it's gonna be fantastic. So we're cooking it. Well, we had a long ways to go. Started at two, didn't we bud? We're up to 11, so the water's getting warm. We're gonna put our chemicals in, and then here in a little bit, we're gonna throw those carburetors in there and see what she does. So let's take a look at what we got going on so far. Highly unlikely that the water's even warm yet. No, nah, not even warm. Should have started with hot water, but it's winter. Come on up here, bud. All right, here we go, gunk, gunk, gunk. Oh, making a splash. I'm only gonna put about half of this. And maybe put a little bit more in half. Yeah, we'll start with that. And then, just for good measure, a little bit of Dawn. All right, we'll let that cook. All right, so after reading the instructions, looks like we need all of this. So we will get 
all of it in. Gunk, gunk, gunk. Yes, that'll work great. All right, so I'm out in the garage again tonight and Chase is with me, which is a pleasure to have him along. Bring it in right here, bud. Come in right here. These slides are absolutely stuck. They're not moving at all. Look at that pressure in my finger. Ah, oh. uh, so we got the air box out. That was pretty simple. It, is, it was a, a pretty tight fix because of this presses in right here, which makes it really tight to kind of wiggle it off and then over. Um, came over on this side because it's got this hose, the vent hose, it goes through, it goes through this metal chunk and it can't come out. And I didn't see a way to disconnect it off of here without taking this apart. So we're just gonna set that right there. All right, bud, let's take a look at here. Oh no, I just broke. I just broke a 40 year old zip tie. Oh, God. Well, back at it. Okay, so we're gonna work on getting the carbs out. We just need to disconnect the, the throttle cable. There we go. And the choke. So this guy has got a plunger that we can pull. Oh, my hand will reach over. Can you see? Yeah, where? And then that will go down and out. And that's disconnected. The choke. Start to come and then I get stuck. What are we getting stuck on? This, but it's connected. It's getting jammed in the hose. Clamp. There it goes. Did you get it? And then we got it out. Right there. Ta da! Carburetors. Let's take it to the bench. So yeah, this, man, those things are jammed so tight. Unbelievable. All right, so we got her on the bench. Last night we emptied this bowl and that bowl with no luck and the, the gas in this is very green. All right, we found the time out of here. Yep, we're ready to go. This will make a mess unless it's already all puked out. fingers seems like it's way too easy for a wrench not easy enough for your fingers that's how it usually goes yeah mm -hmm. try that all right here we go a little green juice yeah <laughs> you gonna drink that bud mm -mm. a little kool-aid 
No. That's fantastic. We bad. Nasty. All right, put that back on. Yeah, hey, that worked pretty good. Put him in the. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Guess I should have done that on the other one too. I bet there's more in it. It's dark here. test to see we did these last night I wonder if we got any fuel in it when we tried to my guess is no but no nothing made it Clever that they're hexes. That's kind of neat. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, wow, these are finger tight. They are so loose. Just gonna go around, crack all the bowls up. Get the bowls off and then, yeah, I don't think we even need them. This guy was pretty lenient with uh, torquing it down. You drinking that juice, bud? No. Why not? Looks like something you drink. Prime? Mm-mm. No? -mm. Oh. All right, here we go. We'll take one off. What do you think we're gonna find? Green. I don't know. The outsides look amazing. From what I saw. That's, we got a ways to go. My fingers are fat. Fingers in small places don't work out usually too good. This would be where it'd be really nice to have a magnetic. Give this a little. Mm. Nope. It's still not gonna pop. All right. Here you go. That is a sticky carb. Wow. There she goes. All right, ready? Yeah, just green. Told him. Yeah, man, that's really, really green. Holy smokes. All right, let's pop all the other ones off. Oh, I think he got it. Easy. Yeah, what's it like inside? Green. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. This doesn't, that doesn't look great. But we'll get the other ones popped off and start prepping for the bath. Nice job, bud. Yep. All right, let's check to see what we got. Mm. 
Oh, boy. Doesn't look as purple. Looks like it got a little dirty. All right, you want to hold this? Switch the roof. Why did you zoom in so much? Shake, shake, shake. Okay, coming at you. Oh man, look at that. Look <laughs> how clean that is after one run. Let's see if these go off. Remember, these were like super, super stuck. I put the lid back on here. Stays warm. All right, remember how stuck these were? Oh, yours, you did it. Yeah. You did one? Yeah. So that one moves. That one kind of moves. <gasps> that one moves a lot. Let's flip over to this side. Yeah, a lot of funk is off of those. These are, aren't sticky anymore. These guys aren't sticky. No. Yeah, that's great. That mm -hmm. one's a little sticky still. Yeah, same with this one. This one's good though. Yeah, well, both the end ones are pretty good. It's because I knocked them off. Yeah. All right, we'll give that one more run. I'll take these guys out. These look great. Next thing, too? Yeah, I'll we'll take those out. All right, big, big boy. Going back in. Ten minutes this time. You can get it? Yep. Alright, let it. They help you. Alright, take it to the One. Easy. Press them easy. Work. And this one mm -hmm. is still a little bit, but you know, that one's good. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think we gotta do next? Uh, put it back. No. Now we gotta take it apart. What? We got it. We wanted to get it unsticky, so they're not sticky no more. They move up real nice. That one's a little clunky still, but now. We're gonna take it to the bench and take it apart. Clean it up good. That's not bad at all. A little gunky right down the bottom. Not bad. All right, so we got the carbs put back together. Chase is gonna warm up the, the boots here, and we're gonna try to get this carburetor back on and see if she'll fire up. All right, move on to the next one, buddy. Just kinda keep working your way around. See how hot it is on my hand. Yeah, that'd be all right. Just kind of, just keep working in her way around for a little bit. 
three, four minutes. Remember, you don't want to melt it. You just want to try to loosen it up a little bit. Ooh, it is hot. Okay, so now we're trying to put them back on. You will go in there. You will go in there. There we go. Here, seated. Mm -hmm. There. That's nice. So we got the chill hooked up. We got the throttle hooked up. All right. I think we're ready for gas. What do you think? Yeah. Cool. All right, hopefully we'll open this up. Hopefully then we'll see gas go in. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I think I hear it. Well, it's definitely not something. That's cool. All right, let's see if we got any leaks. I don't think so. All right, dude, back up. Maybe that's gonna be the main event. All right, well, I'm slightly nervous, but the good thing is we opened this up, gas was flowing, so that's, that is a positive. That didn't happen yesterday. Let's just see what happens. Power, choke, here we go. Fingers crossed.
we've got a major problem. We've got oil just pouring out of it. And this pipe is cold. All the others are hot. So we've got some work to do, but that's good news. Now let's shut her down. All right, so we popped open the garage door and it's minus 10 outside, so it's gonna, it's gonna cool off in here really quick. But how exciting is that? It starts and it idles. Granted, there is a lot of work yet to be done, including figuring out where all that oil is coming from. So this, clean the carbs, fix the brakes, get it rolling. Priority job just turned into a, ah, let's put her over in the side of the corner and we'll dive back into it at some other day. Do I know what's wrong? No. Do I know how to fix it? Probably not, but that's what this whole channel is about, is taking on something that you may not already know how to do and figure it out. We'll figure it out. We have to. This is going to be a 2024's runaround bike, so we got to get it going. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me, kind of getting back out in the garage, having some fun, and diving back in. I'm glad that we got it to hear, hear it run, right? We heard it make a noise, and it idles. It's running on three cylinders, but it's idling. Anyway, guys, hope you like this one. Please join us next week when we tackle the Hawk.